Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading the last chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, which is chapter 34. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab under the mountain of Nebo to the top of Pisgah that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, unto the utmost sea, and the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, unto Zoar. And the Lord said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over thither. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor. But no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. And Moses was an hundred and twenty years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Yahshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. And all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh, and to all his servants, and to all his land, and in all that mighty hand, and in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. You may wonder why that Moses was buried by God in a place that no one knew. The short answer is that because the children of Israel would have stayed right there, they wouldn't have went any further. They would have built a monument to Moses. They would have built idols to Moses in place of serving God. They'd already proved that. In a sense, Moses failed in his job because he didn't get to go over with them because he disobeyed God one time. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Aren't you glad that we live in a day of mercy, in a day of grace? How many times have you failed God? How many times have you disobeyed God? If you're still alive and breathing, I want to tell you today that all you have to do to get forgiveness is to ask for it. Ask the Lord, not your preacher, not your priest, not whoever talk to God talk to the Lord talk to Jesus Christ most people pray to Jesus I think we have scripture that says we're supposed to pray to God through Jesus ever how you see that but ask for forgiveness scripture says he's faithful to forgive that's the reading for today don't miss it folks we start a new book tomorrow God bless.